Hello everyone, today I'm with one of the most important players of the Turkish Basketball League and Bahçeşehir Koleji, Jerim Siyer. Uh, welcome. Hi man, thanks. Appreciate it. So, how are your days in Bahçeşehir? Oh, you know, uh, I can say I can say good, you know, I can say good. So, I'm yeah. living in Istanbul. I love this city. I love really this city, this club, all the people living, uh, walking with me every day, you know. So, for me now, I got no reason to leave Istanbul now. I'm real attic. I can say I really enjoy to play for Bahçeşehir and living in Istanbul, yeah. Great life. Really great life to play in Istanbul. Yeah, I also live in like the 30, uh, 20 years in there. I also I understand you. It's very beautiful city, perfect city. So uh, I want to talk about uh, the Turkish basketball league. Uh, I mean, what do you think about the current situation of the league? Oh, I can see this is a pretty good level. I, mean, I think after the Spain, I put say Spain, Spanish league is the best in Europe now. I mean, uh, for me, I don't see no reason like Turkish is the second best league in Europe. You know, we have so many big teams play like big roles in every cup, every championship they make. Like you got Fenerbahce, Efes playing Euroleague, Galatasaray, Dashka in Champions League. You know, so Tofas, uh, Tofas Bursa. So yeah, Turkish league is really, really good level. Every time we play against big teams, big players, you know, doesn't matter the ranking. Especially in my position, I can say like every team got a big man, best five position, you know, to play really good. So yeah, it's really, really competitive, uh, competitive league. And uh, I like this level. Uh, it's different than uh, in France. In France, there is, I can say, less better, more that more athletic, you know. But in Turkey, the level, uh, the IQ, the efficiency, the level of the players is amazing. Yeah. It's amazing league. Yes, Turkish league is amazing league. Yes, uh, you played in also in Euroleague with Monaco. And what can you say about those days and Euroleague and current situation? And when was your play in Euroleague situation? First part of the season, I wasn't playing. I was playing Milan, you know. I mean, when to change the coach, yes, I was playing Lens, you know. But I will still enjoy to play in Euroleague because this kind of level, when they say every game matters, you know, every time saying every game matters. It really is because every game is really tough to win. Doesn't matter the ranking. Even when you play Berlin, Alba Berlin just beat Barcelona, you know, top of the team, bottom of the league, you know. And yeah, I really enjoy to play with this kind of player, with the level. It's really hard to stay in this competition, with this kind of level and focusing every day. So yeah, I really enjoy to play for Monaco in the level. I'm always watching you, like, you know. We play the same team that Fenerbahce, Nuki Arena. And every time they play your league, I'm trying to go to come watch games, you know, because you see the, this kind of level we shoot all once in Euro, especially. So, yeah, I like watching Euro League. It's amazing, also, like, pretty high level. Uh, apart from Monaco, we can count as France team. And you also played for different teams in France. And what can you say about French basketball and French league? Oh, I told you, I think after the NBA, I played like uh, Limoges, Cholet, the 9th second division, also Nanterre. I can say after the NBA, the French league is the most athletic team, uh, a most athletic league in Europe. Like in 10 players in the team, you have 10 players like athletic, the point guard to the five men, you know, it's really physical abilities. Then what I, what I was going to say, this is why NBA loves French players because they're really, really athletic about that. And of course, you have to be ready. You have to be ready. It's really different than in Turkey. Turkey, there is more IQ details. In France, we're just about focusing not of, on skills, but like physical abilities to make a point to play the high level. This is the difference. And I can say here, like as I told you, in my position, most of the time, when I play against five men in Turkish league, they're really athletic, they're really strong, you know. So, of course, I need to deal with it every every week. You know, it's not easy, but I can say the French league, I can say she's, I can say she improved. She improved, like, a lot since the past years, and now she got a good direction, a good way, I think. So, uh, I don't know uh, when I will publish this video, but uh, you have an important quarterfinal match ahead of yeah. you. 
uh, you're playing against uh, Porto. What's mm-hmm. your FIBA European Cup goal? Oh, the cup. The cup, man. We have to win the cup. Yeah, for that, it's the Batisha won the cup three years ago. Uh, they want to make it to a game this year. But we got a big chance, you know, we had a big chance to win. It will be not easy, especially against Porto, because they are really physical, athletic team, you know. They're really good team, you know. They not play quarterfinal for a for no reason. So, yeah, we're expecting to play, like, third game tomorrow, Wednesday. Our goal is uh, is to win the cup. Is to is to win the cup. Yes. Yeah, I hope. I say I hope. So uh, I'll ask again the like general question. Can you create the best five you play with? Oh, that's tough, man. That's tough. Yes. Oh, I can say as a point guard, I have to say my James. You know, I played again. I played with him two years ago. Oh, I think my James one of the best. Player with a player in your league right now, it was like I can see in the practice every day that in the game, especially also this season, he's unbelievable and uh, unstoppable. So yeah, I could say, like, Mike James, 7 1, my last, my former teammate from last year, Jamal Smith. I think Jamal Smith is the most clutch player I've ever seen in my life. If I know if we, if we get to fight, fix something and solve the problem during the game, just give him the ball. He's gonna make it. He's just looking at you, bro. I'm gonna make it. Don't worry about it. You know, just go back in defense and do some shit. Don't worry about it. I got it. So I was in Jamal Smith. As a three man, as a three man, I got different choices, but that's tough for the soul to say that. You know, I would say my guy, uh, ah, that's tough, man. Three man. I got my guy Axel, my teammates yeah. today, this year, you know, also a special scorer. Like in every position he can score, like he's not the fastest one. He's not fast. He's not athletic or physical, but he always finds a way to score. He can score ten points in five minutes just like that, you know. So I could say, uh, I could say, Axel. And the four position, as a four position, I was a weird, weird Thomas or so, you know. A lot of game, you you know, everybody knows who he's in. But yeah, I would say with Thomas or so, he's tough guys, like. I can say you give him the ball, you need bucket on the low post, you need bucket mid range, he's gonna make the job, you know, but he's a really smart player. So yeah, I would say with Thomas. Yeah, of course, me as a five man. Then yeah, I was my starting five. The best player I I ever played with, yeah. Definitely. But by the way, you created uh, the perfect team and I wanna say this, uh, I make video like one or two or three uh, basketball player and everybody say in uh, point guard Mike James and yes it's it's clear oh, about cool. Mike James he's, he's magnificent yes when I'm thinking about point guard the last decade in Euroleague you got so many point guard like Spanolis you know Thomas Arter Nando De Coro whatever you know Teodosic you want to think about that Shane Larkin or so but Mike James is, I think is different this guy is yeah. really different. In the game, he decides. He decides when he can, when he want to score. He decides when he want to make a pass or do something, you know, for the team. He just decides. You cannot stop it. He just maybe like reduce his percentage efficiency. But at the end, he, if he want to score twenty, he will score twenty. You know. Yeah. So, uh, this guy is different. This guy is really different, and we just surprised why he don't play in NBA. You know, I don't know exactly his his past or what happened. It's pretty great resume what happened in the league, but he's not normal this kind of the this kind of guy with this level still play in Europe, you know. He should play in the league in NBA right now. So yeah, Mike James is different, different breed, yeah. He's big for yeah. I can say. I actually am a big fan of Brooklyn Nets and he played in Brooklyn Nets. Yeah, and he yeah. was very good actually. I, I didn't understand why he came to Euroleague again. But he, yeah, it's life, you know. Yeah, it's a big business. NBA is a big business, big machine, so many players. So yeah, that's tough. That's tough to understand. It's like that. I think he, I think he's in, he enjoyed to play in Europe, so it's all good for him. So in the last part of the video, I'll ask you a few short questions and I want to yeah. give you quick answers. So, block or rebound? Rebound. Home or away game? Oh. Who is the rider? What you say? Excuse me, I don't understand. Who is your idol? Oh, uh, LeBron. LeBron James. 
Yeah, the most famous person on your phone. <laughs> uh, the most famous person, uh, I would say the sportsman, French sportsman, uh, Teddy Reader. Judo, judo play. Judo <laughs> Okay. The hardest player you have ever played against? Oh. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm gonna say my five position. Uh, I would say you can say yes. Your matchup. Yeah, yeah, my matchup. Oof, that's dirt. I would say maybe uh now Tavares, Eiji Tavares. Yeah, of course, yes. Tavares, yeah, he's so huge, man. You, he just hangs on like that. You don't see the sky, you don't see the rain. That's really tough to score on it, yeah. Eiji Tavares. He's like in 2K. <laughs> yeah, he's a cheap card. This guy's a cheap card. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, favorite play game song? Oh, uh, now Metro Boomin, Too Many Nights. That's my song now. Why number 16? Because I'm born in 16, I always play uh, with this number since uh, I started basketball at 17 years old. Yeah, I keep it, you know. Doesn't matter where I'm going to play, I'm going to ask for the 16. Doesn't matter. Yeah, it's cool. Happiest day in your life? Oh, happiest day in my life. Oh, that's tough, man. Damn, so many. <laughs> I could say, like, when it's, I... It's good thing. Yes, yes. When I when about the when about the rent, when about the house for my mom, you know, you know when I, yeah, she deserved that. She deserved that. Last quick question: What's your favorite food in Turkey? Oh man, food in Turkey is sweaty, man. That's so good. Oh, the dessert, the food. Whew. I would say the dessert. I am I'm gonna say the dessert also. I love kefta. I love baklava. Baklava is my weakness, man. I think baklava, yeah, baklava. It's like cheat day, I can eat 20, 30 baklava just like that, you know. <laughs> it's too sweet, you know, man. Yeah, baklava. Baklava, fire. Baklava is fire. Crazy. Oh, my mouth is wet now, bro. You say baklava and I need to eat now. Uh, man, baklava. Like, if you give me baklava now, I'm going to eat. It doesn't matter if I can practice or not. I'm going to eat baklava, bro. <laughs> fire. So, thanks for your answers, bro. And thanks for coming. It's... Yes. Yeah, thanks again. As you want, man. As you want. If you need, just tell me, let me know. We can make it again, you know. So take care. Thanks You're again. welcome, man. See you, bro. Thanks. See you. See you. You're welcome.